what's up everybody so today we're gonna be learning about uh, a group of uh, data types in Python uh, I want to start with one of the groups uh, we're gonna learn about variables and also the, uh, the operations that can be done inside a data type so quickly let's quickly open up Python so the first data type that we are going to learn about is integer uh, an integer is can be a number so let's say 5 or 6 4 3 uh, to store an integer we can use uh, let's see a variable or to store any data type you can use a variable and a variable we can call it or uh, give it a name we'll just call it X and then if we do X equals 5 this X variable will store the value 5 and 5, as I said, is a data type, which is an integer. So if we quickly print out x, we will see that it prints out its value, which is the data type integer 5. We can also print out the type of x. And as you see here, it is an integer type with X we can also do um, also our all sorts of integer operations let's say 5 plus 4 now if we print out X it should print out 9 which is the addition of 5 plus 4 let's quickly go to the next one which is float if we include a decimal point let's say 5.1 now X is a float data type if we print out the type of X it'll say float similarly we can do all sorts of operations on X let's say 5 plus uh, sorry 5.1 plus uh, 6.2 and now let's print out X should print out 11.3 which is the addition of 5.1 plus 6.2 and now if we print out sorry uh, let's go to the next one which is a decimal for this data type we have to import the decimal library uh, with this line and let's say x equals decimal 5.1 and let's print out X then here we have the decimal value of um, X which is uh, this value right here uh, let's go to bool equals uh, so a bool data type uh, represent represents a boolean uh, which can be uh, broken down into true or false so X equals true with a capital T uh, represents boolean variable uh, X which stores uh, true so if we print out X 
prints out true and the type of x will be a bool next um, let's do some operations on um, on um, boolean variables so let's store y equals false if we print out x and y which does the and truth table for x and y so we have x which is true but y which is false so true and false evaluates to false so if we print this out you'll get here false let's go to strings string is a uh, is a word which is surrounded by a quotation in python it can be single quotes or double quotes uh, let's have hello world which is two words it can store um two words as well we print out X it'll say hello world now if we print out the type of X it should print out string yeah because um, any word or word sentences or even paragraphs surrounded by quotation whether it's single or double quotes is a string. Uh, let's go to a tuple. A tuple in Python stores different objects all at once. So let's let x equals. Um, let's let's have one, two let's store a string uh, hello and uh, let's end it off with a float so a tuple is surrounded by uh, brackets uh, round brackets over here and then inside the brackets you can see here there's different types of data types starting off with two integers the third one is a string and then the last one is a float so if if we equal x that and give it an enter uh, we can print out x so pr x prints out now all the the collection of uh, data types and if we print out the type of X we now get tuple we can also access the the objects inside the tuple one by one and the way we do that is we do X we do a square brackets and inside the square brackets we can have the index number of the of the objects inside of it so if we want to access one so the objects start with zero the index starts with zero until how many ever elements are there so the index of one will be zero index of two will be one index of hello will be zero one two and then the index of five point one will be zero one two three so the index of 5.1 is index 3 so let's say we want to access 5.1 so what we could do is x curly brackets 3 and then do an enter here and we get 5.1 let's say we want to access the third element the sorry the second uh, index then we can do uh, x square bracket 2 and then we get hello and so on so uh, uh, that's the quick tutorial for today um, these are the first group of 
uh, data types data types that I want to introduce uh, these data types are called immutable data types which represent the data types which can't be changed and this concept I'll be um, going over in in, um, in a, after the next group and um, yeah thanks for listening in subscribe to the channel um, as I'll be going over all these topics in uh, greater greater detail and uh, yeah thanks for watching